For this video, we'll show you the hard reset procedure for an Eplex E5000 series lock when the user knows the master code. A hard reset will return the lock to factory mode, which includes deleting all codes, resetting the default factory values, and making the master code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First, be certain the lock is powered. Insert the mechanical override key, turn it counterclockwise, and hold it so that the lock is in the open position. Cylindrical latch is retracted. Within 5 seconds, press the pound button and release the key. If the 5 second timeout is reached without pressing pound, the lock continues its normal operation. If no master code is entered during the 20 second delay, the lock will enter a 15 minute wait period assuming the master code is unknown. If an incorrect master code is entered, the lock exits the reset sequence state and goes back into the access state. Keep in mind when an incorrect master code is entered, the tamper count decrements. After four unsuccessful attempts, the lock goes into the tamper shutdown state for 30 seconds. It will resume normal operations after this delay. If the pound button is pushed and the override key is released within the five second period, the lock displays the reset sequence and progress message by flashing green and red LED lights alternatively once every second. In this state, users have a 20 second period to enter the master code followed by the pound button. If the required numerical sequence is entered within 20 seconds, the lock performs a hard reset and goes back into the unprogrammed state. Finally, don't forget to remove the mechanical override key. This concludes the hard reset procedure with a known master code for the Eplex E5000 series lock.